going on everybody thank you so much for coming back to another video and in today's video we are talking about the third episode in this new season of the clone wars on the wings of Caradax. so before i get any further into this again this is your spoiler warning this video will be filled with spoilers and i will be reviewing this as if you have seen this episode so we're now in the third episode of this new season the third episode into this bad batch arc there's only one more episode in this arc and i really can't wait to see what they do to cap off the bad batch arc you know this there's only going to be three arcs in this season so i'm really excited to see how they cap this off i've really enjoyed this arc so far really really great action really great visuals one thing that i will continue to praise about this show is just how great the animation is now they really just again I've said it in every single one of these videos so far but they've just taken that original animation style and just doubled down on how clean and fresh and just crisp it looks in this season I really do enjoy just being able to see new Clone Wars with a new fresh animation you can see the small complexities of what they bring to modern day animation put into this and you know with the Clone Wars having come out just enough years in the past that there can be this leap in animation is really cool and I just love being able to see new animated Clone Wars so beautiful really love the animation it looks so cool the action is so cool and I just really love what they're doing with the show visually on an overall level so after the events of the second episode where we are finally found clone troop echo arc trooper echo who had been believed to have been dead a long time ago and yeah they find him he's been attached to this machine he's essentially been mentally a slave been linked up essentially half a robot now he has robotic limbs he has tubes and wiring all shoved into his head and he's disoriented he's skinny he's pale and he's been essentially like I said a slave for the techno union army they've been using his brain and his information in order to use his tactics as a clone trooper against the clone troopers and yeah I really love the just small reunion we had in this episode with Captain Rex and him that brief moment where he realizes he's being rescued and you know I feel like there's gonna be more that's gonna happen with Echo in this season obviously or specifically in this arc I feel like something is a little bit off about him especially at the very end of course you know he's been a slave this whole time he's weak he's you know has these these tubes in his head and there's something obviously he's gone through a lot you know and they're there to save him but there's something about the last line of this episode or just kind of his interactions with the clones near the end of the episode that just makes me feel like they may have almost put something in his mind as kind of like a a counter offense if they you know were to save him you know what i mean but yeah i don't know if that makes sense but yeah i just feel like they may have put something in his mind that's gonna end up screwing over the clones now that they've taken him so i am curious to see what they do with his character but it is nice to see echo back it was nice to see that reunion between him and captain rex and yeah i'm really curious to see what they do with that on an overall level one thing i really loved about this episode was the action it picks up right after the events of the last episode and yeah you right out of the gate you have have Anakin with his lightsaber and the Bad Batch just killing all these droids and one thing I didn't mention in the last review was that there's these new battle droids that you kind of have like multiple limbs and they're kind of thin and they're kind of weird looking but I do really enjoy their design and in this episode when they're escaping there's a moment where they jump on the Kyridax who are these big essentially bat-like creatures these big reptilian creatures that kind of look like bats and yeah, they are, they're escaping and then the droids end up jumping off the area that they jumped off to get on the Kyridax and they start flying. And so I thought they were almost gonna pull the line out of the uh, Rise of Skywalker, that whole like, they can fly now. Cause that's kind of what I thought when I was watching it is yeah, you know, you have battle droids that can fly here on Skakko Minor. And yeah, I really enjoyed that. I thought their design was really cool. I thought that was a, a fun little action sequence. And as far as this episode goes, it's essentially like the escape from the planet. We gotta get out of here action episode. And I really enjoyed that. There were a lot of little touching character moments, but for the most part, this episode is 100% about them escaping the planet. And I think that the next episode is where we're gonna get a lot of the answers or the, the a lot of the meat and potatoes of the actual storytelling this episode was a lot more about the action about getting echo out of there and about all these clones and anakin having to work together to fight all these crazy battle droids and get out of here i really enjoyed the action i thought it was a lot of fun as an episode on its own i think it pushed forward the story as much as it needed to as well as just being a fun action episode and that's something you need in the clone wars is just fun action episodes that push the story forward just a little bit but you know the clone wars has always been a lot a lot of really cool action as well as some really great stories so it's nice to know that by the end of this season we're gonna have a lot of episodes that have some really sweet action and I enjoyed this episode for what it is and the one thing I really kind of felt bad for were the natives of Skakko Minor who helped the Republic help the clone troopers and Anakin get to where Echo was in the in the previous episodes and in this episode they kind of get brought into this and a lot of them end up dying a lot of them end up getting attacked but I did really enjoy in a very Star Wars manner that the they ended up you know rising up with the clone troopers and with Anakin and realizing that the separatists and the techno union army need to be brought down 
down. So they all fight the droids together in a very Star Wars-esque manner. So I enjoyed that. It was really cool. I think that it's a fun, cool episode. I think action-wise, it was my favorite out of the whole, you know, three episodes that we've seen so far. Uh, I think that the first episode may still be my favorite. The second episode being right behind that. But yeah, this episode, as far as the story, didn't have as much that I would have liked to have seen. There is one more episode in this arc. So I think the next episode is going to be, again, where we get the answers and get more of the, the narrative, the meat and potatoes of this Bad Batch arc. So I'm really excited to see how this arc wraps up, especially going into the next arc. The next arc is going to be the Ahsoka arc, which is something I am crazy excited for. So I really can't wait to see where the rest of the series goes. Have you guys been enjoying this season so far? What was your favorite thing about this episode? I am really curious to see how they'll weave Wat Tambor into the next episode. He is the leader of the Techno Union Army, and now they've essentially realized that he is now working with the Separatists, but you know, if you're a Star Wars fan, you know that he has been working with the Separatists. The Techno Union Army has been working with the Separatists since before the events of Attack of the Clones. So I am curious to see what they do with Wat Tambor and the Techno Union Army in the next episode. But yeah, guys, leave your comments down below. Did you like this episode? Were you excited by the action like I was? Did you want a little bit more out of the story with this episode like I did? Or were you okay with the action and kind of just looking forward to what's coming next like I was? So definitely leave those comments down below. I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say. I'm really enjoying that the Clone Wars is back. If I look tired and I sound tired in this episode, it's because it's four in the morning. I just saw the episode, so I probably do look and sound tired. But yeah, guys, leave those comments down below, and I will see each and every single one of you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.